Josh, what are you doing here? It's time for STV. Yeah, I know. What's the problem? But if you're here, then who's anchoring? So dive right in. Hollywood Hills and suburban thrills. Hey, you, who are you kidding? I'm not like them. I won't buy in. Hollywood Hills and suburban thrills. Hey, you, who are you kidding? Don't quit till 47. Then we'll turn it up and we'll play a little faster. Take What's up, Spartan Nation? Welcome to another episode of STV News. I'm Samantha Redemar. And I'm Gabriel Saldriaga, and we are your hosts for this week's show. And boy, do we have a good one. So, Gabe, did you see all the people wearing white this week? Actually, I did. Here's a segment that explains why. Hi, right, why are you guys not wearing white today? What's today? Why is wearing white today? I don't know. Why are you wearing white today? Because today is the day we were supposed to wear white for the drunk drivers who passed away in the cars. Well, my friends told me that I had to wear white to help prevent uh, teen crashes. Today is National Teens Driver Safety Day, and um, I wear white because um, I'm for the uh, whole, you know, teens driving safely, you know. Do you guys have any advice for people that drink and drive? <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. I would send out a message to all teens saying to not text and drive, drink and drive, you know, don't do, don't do stupid things while you're driving. Just to not do it, and if you are going to drink, then make sure you have someone responsible with you who will drive. It's not worth it to text and drive or to drink and then drive. I mean, texting, you can wait till you're at a red light or stop sign, whatever, and drinking and driving is just not worth it. You can, you can leave your car, call one of your friends, call your parents, and then pick it up the next morning or take a cab it's not it's not really that hard of a choice to make seriously don't do it don't i do mean it. if you're going to drink don't drive i mean get a designated driver get a taxi call your mom i'm sure she'd rather drive yeah, you home call drunk <laughs> call miss byhan are you wearing it for anybody specifically yes we i just had a friend pass away like a month ago from drunk driving a former student had passed away like over the summer for that same reason, so um, I kind of did it to honor him. I knew Sam Gargier, mm -hmm. who sadly passed away this year because he was in a car accident with a drunk driver. I was in Tennessee with Sam Gargier. Mm -hmm. I, I've known him for <clears throat> two years, and when I heard about that, I was very, like, I was, I couldn't even believe it. Like, we're not invincible, and teens need to be aware of that, and drunk driving, you can't, like, you can't risk that. You might say, like, Oh, it's just one time, but look what one time did. There was the sad incident of Sa Sam Gargier, you know, a close, close friend to all of us at Hills. So I wish he wouldn't have just, you know, got in a car with a drunk person. So don't do it. Seriously. It's just sad to see all these teens um, passing away because of their driving habits. On average, it is estimated that more than 3,000 teenagers die every year from drinking and driving. Do the right thing, be responsible, don't drink and drive. You know, reading is for squares. Actually, books are rectangular, but reading can be kind of fun. Here's Carl Smith with some classic literature. Hi, I'm Carl Smith. I'm here today to take you through American literature through the Prentice Hall literature, the English tradition. On our first book today, we're gonna to have The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. Let's take a look. Wouldn't you guys rather paint this fence? How are we supposed to paint it like this? Don't worry about it, just paint. Uh... Billy Joe, what's wrong? Are you having fun yet? No. 
Oh, that Tom Sawyer. The next book today we have is Moby Dick. I got you now, Moby Dick. Ah! Come on, just one whale. Get over here. Come on, man. Just one no, whale. Come on, just one whale, man. We're taking you in. Come on, just one whale, man. I thought this was America, man. I thought this was America. Come on, man. Just one whale. Oh, that Captain Ahab. The next book is Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. Can I tend the rabbits, Carl? You can tend all the rabbits you want, Lenny. Oh, tragic fate for Lenny. Our last book of the evening will be Oliver Twist, one of my personal favorites. Hi guys. Step one, use your no-take Oh, Josh. There's no I got some for you. Anyone. This is the third round of the Cheat up. I see a lot of people Get out of here. Go. Get out. All right, Josh, it's your time. Go ask him for more. But you know he never gives out more. Oh, come on, man. Don't be a punk. Go, just go. I am hungry. Trying to give you time now. You want? Please, sir. I have some more. If you didn't get more. Other people. More. One more. more. Nobody asks for more. You care about Jackson for more. Ah, <laughs> uh, a great story. Well, that's all the time we have today. I've been Carl Smith here with you with some classic American literature. Thank you and good night. Gambling is wrong. Thousand of Floridian teens are addicted to this kind of pot. So true. STV does not dig gambling. So here are some fun, friendly ways that you can play with your cards. The play of a hand consists of 13 cards. The first card is played by the player to the left of the dealer. If no cards remain in that suit, then any card may be played. The winner of the card is the player who threw the highest spade, or the highest card of the suit. There is no restriction on when spades may or may not be played, except that players must follow suit if possible. I think spades is fun to play and it's very competitive and I just like to play it. It's fun. But What's your favorite part about spades? When I beat them. When I when they get dimes. Yeah. How do you feel about spades? Pretty good. I like the twos. I get aggressive at the lunch table. Oh, me and my homegirl Lorraine, we get aggressive with a lot of group in the cafeteria. It's all about them twos and them spades. Do you win frequently? Sometimes. When I got my Lorraine, if she's on my side. But forget Johnny and Big Blue. Put that out. What about the card game spades? I don't mind the students playing it, but just not in my room because it's against the rules and it takes up my instructional time. So Gabe, you want to get high? No way! 
not that kind of high. I'm talking about natural high, like music. Oh. So let me shoot you up with a video about how others get high naturally. Girls, shoes, money, and yeah, etc. Working out, I love it. I feel good when I do it. And I look at myself and I'm like, ooh, I look so sexy. So that's what I like doing. It's my natural high. I get high too. I'm jerking. You already know. I eat Big Macs and McDonald's fries. Dreaming, dreaming is my natural high. Hey, I play football and, um, you know, the ladies. <laughs> Wow, I wish I could meet the guy in this next clip. He's so interesting. He once wrestled a giraffe to the ground, kissed it on the cheek, and then helped it back up. Telemarketers call him just to hear his voice. He can speak Morse code in Braille. He has the ability to strangle someone with a cordless phone. I don't always go to school. When I do, I go to Hollywood Hills. Stay intelligent, my friends. The vending machines are such a ripoff. The other day I only got three chips in my one dollar bag. Why'd you even go to the vending machine? You should go to the concession stand. It's every day after school, and it supports our school band. So it's all my fault. Spartan, do you feel like having so a snack after school? Well, come by the band concession stand. So it's all my fault. We're loaded and packed with a variety of snacks: hot pockets, soup, corn dogs, and more. We're open every day after school, so come on by. Oh my god, the world's gonna end! Don't worry, that's only in 2012. Oh, okay. <laughs> Great philosopher Nostradamus predicted that the world will come to an end in 2012. Let's see what our fellow Spartans think about that. What do you think about 2012, sir? 2012, yeah, I, I think Nostradamus was right about that. Wait, what? Nostradamus was right about that. Nostradamus? Nostradamus. The guy I predicted. don't know who Nostradamus is, but Nostradamus made the prediction. I think that's what you're thinking about. What do you think about 2012? Uh, I think 2012 is a big pile of manure and it's not going to work out. It's bullcrap. <laughs> it's real. Well, um, so far the Aztecs calendar, uh, whatever minds, their stuff's been true so far. The calendar cuts off 2012. It's uh, December 21st. So, how do you know the end of the calendar means we all die? It's just how it is. Well, how do you know that? I just have faith. Do you have faith that we're all gonna die? Yes. Nah, I don't think so. Remember in 2006, they're like, we're all gonna die, 666? I don't think it's gonna happen. I think the only reason that the Mayan calendar stops in 2012 is that they ran out of space on the rock. Oh, uh, let's say hurricanes. Those have all been predicted. It's in the same calendar that cuts off 2012. Right. So, if the calendar is just going to cut off and the 2012 is the day of reckoning, that's when the apocalypse is going to happen. According to their calendar, why wouldn't it happen? I don't know. Why would it? We have global warming. Everything's starting to take effect. What do you think? What do, you, what do I think? I think that that's what I think. Ancient if calendar everything... doesn't mean the end of the world. Hopefully, I get to live long life. Um, what I want to happen is, well, like drowning marshmallows or something. I mean, it's got to be something random. It's, well, how, how does that even make sense? It doesn't. Why would the world end? Why does that make sense? It doesn't. It's, if it does, it's got to end in one way. I believe it's going to die. We're going to have like lots of candy falling, like, you know, cloudy with a chance of meatballs. It's going to be some crap like that. So you think but the food's going to kill people, people? You think because some ancient people wrote a calendar that ended on this date, food is going to fall from the sky and kill everybody? Yes. I think that's all we need. We hope you like the show this week, Spartans. I'm Samantha Redemar. And I'm Gabriel Sadriaga. Stay wholesome, homeboys. Hey, thank you.